Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News and uh, another video. <laughs> and uh, today's video is about Windows Server 2012. And I'm going to show you how to create a certificate request within your internet information uh, services on a Server 2012 machine. Okay. Now, this is the problem that a lot of people normally get. And it's if you would like to attain a digital certificate either from your own CA now CA stands for certification authority or from a public certificate vendor you need to submit a certificate signing request first now uh, cert uh, certificate signing requests is also stand for CSR so you probably hear that a lot uh, so you're able to do that now I'm kind of assuming that you guys already have web services already within your uh, server already built in IIS 8 that's what it comes with uh, server 2012 so let's get started so I actually have a uh, the IIS manager already on my uh, taskbar so I'm gonna click on it and once it loads up I want you guys to get into your main server node like I have gibberish because I haven't changed the computer name of my server yet and you want to double click on server certificates and within server certificates you want to go into create a certificate request so within here you have about six options that you actually have to fill out uh, the common name would be the name of the certificate example if this certificate is going to be a secure uh, for a specific domain or for a site it's best practice that the common name would be like for me like bjtechnews.org so what I'm going to do is like okay connect connect.bjtechnews.org right because this certificate is going to my bjtechnews.org site so it makes sense for it to keep the same name in other words organization I'm gonna go BJ Tech News again this is all gonna be different uh, on your end and organization city where you're located the states and country depending on what country you're it at I mean uh, I'm gonna do US by default. It's gonna pick US anyway. I think depending on your time zone, the country is gonna change for your time zone. Uh, you're gonna hit next, and once you do that, uh, know that IIS generally has a 1024 bit, uh, which would be fine. I suggest using a 1248 bit length. Uh, so let's change this to 1248. Uh, the Cryptograph Service Provider. You can leave it as default. You really don't need to change that at all. Uh, if you guys do want to change it, there I think there's other options that you could do. There's only two options: is Microsoft DH. Uh, I like the R the RSA S channel cryptograph provider, which is the default one. And we're gonna hit next on that, and then specify a file name for the certificate request. Now this is up to you. Uh, we we need to pick a location of where you want to drop it. I'm gonna drop it on my desktop. Now once you actually pick a location of where you want this certificate to be dropped in again it's not really a certificate as of yet it's a text file that you need to actually submit to a, um, uh, a site that will actually decode this into a certificate for you and we're gonna hit finish and once you hit finish I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna go into my desktop now if you right click on this and you go to edit it's gonna basically give you gibberish now this gibberish you are actually going to go to like a web service certificate site that will allow you to paste this uh, certificate request and it's gonna generate it again it's, it's gonna be a fee so it's not free if it is free and you guys know a way of doing it for free hey leave uh, leave the steps right in the bottom of this video at the comment section I would like to know how to do this for free but in my experience you actually have to pay for this uh, you copy and paste on this uh, they re they generate it in a way that they would create a uh, a file for you with an extension of CER I believe a certificate and, and you import it into your web server and you're good to go so hopefully you guys enjoy how uh, how to do a, uh, a certificate and actual uh, create a certificate request within your server 2012 web services uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them right below the video at the comment section and do not forget about hitting that like button and catch you guys later peace out